Imagine this, your favorite houseplant could potentially be a silent killer to your beloved feline friend. Quite a startling thought, isn't it? Yet, it's a reality that many cat owners unknowingly live with every day. You see, our homes are filled with a variety of lush, green houseplants that not only add a touch of nature indoors, but also purify the air we breathe. But what if I told you that some of these seemingly harmless plants could pose a serious threat to your cat's health? Yes, that's right, folks. Some of the most common plants we love and nurture in our homes are toxic to our feline companions. And the worst part is, they're so common that we often don't even realize the danger they could be causing. We're talking about plants like the beautiful lilies that grace your vase, the aloe vera plant you keep for its healing properties, and even the ivy that adds a touch of wilderness to your living room. You may be wondering how these plants can be harmful. Well, these plants contain certain toxins that, while harmless to humans, can cause a range of health issues in cats, from mild irritation to severe digestive issues, or even worse, life-threatening conditions. And it's not just about your cat nibbling on the leaves. Even the pollen from these plants can be harmful if it gets on your cat's fur and they end up grooming it off. Now, you might be thinking, but my cat never chews on my plants. Well, remember, curiosity is a cat's second nature, and it only takes one moment of curiosity for your feline friend to get into trouble. So, what can we do about it? Do we need to give up our love for houseplants entirely? Absolutely not. There are plenty of cat-friendly plants out there that can coexist peacefully with your furry friend. Stay tuned to uncover the common houseplants that might be posing a threat to your furry friends. Let's ensure our homes remain a safe haven for our feline companions without compromising the greenery we so love. You might be unknowingly nurturing a toxic plant right in your living room. Now, I know that's a bit of a shocker, but it's important to be aware of the potential dangers lurking in our homes, especially when it comes to our feline companions. Let's start with one of the most common culprits, the lily. Lilies, while beautiful, are a big no-no for cat owners. Every part of the lily plant, from the petals to the pollen, is toxic to cats. Ingesting even a small piece can cause kidney failure in our furry friends. Then there's aloe vera. Known for its soothing properties for humans, it's not so soothing for cats. The aloe plant contains a compound called saponins. When ingested by cats, saponins can cause vomiting, diarrhea and even tremors. And let's not forget about ivy. This climbing plant, often used as a decorative piece, hides a harmful secret. Ivy contains a toxin called heterogenin, which can cause a burning sensation in the mouth, excessive drooling and difficulty swallowing in cats. Now you might be thinking, but I have a jade plant, not a lily or aloe or ivy. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but jade plants are also toxic to cats. They contain compounds that can cause vomiting, lethargy and loss of coordination in cats. But it's not all doom and gloom. The key is to be informed and vigilant. Know what plants you have in your home and whether they might pose a risk to your cat. And remember, if you're not sure about a plant, it's always better to err on the side of caution. And if you suspect your cat has ingested a toxic plant, don't panic. Take your cat to the vet immediately. Early intervention is crucial in these situations. But don't worry, not all plants are hazardous to your cat. There are plenty of safe alternatives. Transform your home into a safe haven for your cats with these non-toxic plants. It's not all doom and gloom, plant lovers. We can still create a lush green paradise that's a delight to both humans and felines. Let's start with the spider plant. It's a great option for your home, not just because it's non-toxic for your cats, but also because it's incredibly easy to care for. These resilient plants can thrive in a variety of conditions and their enticing long leaves will give your cats something to swat at that won't leave them feeling under the weather. Next on our list is the Boston Fern. This plant adds a touch of elegance to any room with its delicate fronds and rich green colour. It's another hardy choice, able to tolerate lower light conditions and occasional mist watering. The best part? Your cat can munch on it to their heart's content without any risk. And let's not forget the Eureka Palm. This plant is a real showstopper, with its lush, feathery fronds that can reach impressive heights. It's also a great air purifier, helping to keep your home's air fresh and clean. It's safe for your cats to chew on, although they might find it a bit less tasty than the Boston fern. 
These are just a few examples of safe plants for your cat-friendly home. There are many more out there, like the Swedish ivy, the bamboo palm, or the blue echeveria. The key is to always do your homework before bringing a new plant into your home. Remember, a safe home doesn't mean a home without plants. On the contrary, it means a home where we can coexist with our feline friends, enjoying the beauty and benefits of indoor plants, without the worry of causing harm to our beloved pets. Now, let's talk about what to do if your cat has ingested a toxic plant. Time is of the essence when dealing with plant toxicity in cats. When our feline friends nibble on the wrong leaf or stem, their health can take a serious hit. Recognizing the signs of plant toxicity early on is the first and most critical step to getting your cat the help they need. So what should you be on the lookout for? Common signs include vomiting, diarrhea, drooling excessively, loss of appetite, and changes in behavior such as lethargy or restlessness. Your cat may also show signs of irritation around their mouth or paw at their face. These symptoms can vary depending on the type of plant ingested, so it's always best to err on the side of caution if you notice anything out of the ordinary. Now, let's say you've noticed some of these signs and you suspect your cat has been nibbling on one of your house plants. What's the next step? The answer is simple. Get in touch with your vet right away. Don't waste time trying to treat the symptoms at home. The toxins in some plants can cause rapid and severe health problems, and every second counts. When you call your vet, try to provide as much information as you can. If you know which plant your cat has ingested, tell your vet. This information can help them determine the best course of treatment. If you're unsure, try to describe the plant or, if safe to do so, take a sample to your vet. While you're waiting for professional help, make sure your cat has access to fresh water and a quiet, comfortable place to rest. Keep them away from any other plants in your home. This will help prevent further ingestion and give your cat a chance to recover. Finally, remember that while quick action can save your cat's life, the best treatment is always prevention. Keep toxic plants out of reach, or better yet, opt for cat-friendly alternatives. By creating a safe environment for your furry friend, you can help ensure they live a long and healthy life. Remember, the best treatment is always prevention. Your cat's safety is in your hands. Remember that phrase, because it's key to everything we've discussed today. Our feline companions are curious creatures, always exploring and often finding themselves in places where they shouldn't be. This includes our collection of houseplants, some of which can be toxic to them. We've unveiled the hidden dangers lurking in your living room, identified those pretty yet poisonous plants that can harm your cat, the lilies, the ivy, the aloe vera, and many more. Each of these plants carries toxins that can cause anything from mild irritation to serious health issues in cats. Knowledge is power, and being aware of these dangers is the first step to ensuring your pet's safety. We've also shared some safe alternatives to those toxic houseplants. Spider plants, Boston ferns and areca palms are all fantastic options for a cat-friendly home. They add a touch of greenery without posing a risk to your beloved pet. So don't let fear keep you from enjoying the beauty of nature indoors. You can have your houseplants and keep your cat safe too. And if by any chance your cat does get into a toxic plant, we've given you tips on how to handle it. Watch out for signs of poisoning like vomiting, drooling or changes in behaviour. If you observe any of these, don't hesitate to contact your vet immediately. By knowing which plants are safe and which aren't, you can create an environment that's not just beautiful, but also safe for your feline friend. So, let's spread the word, shall we? Share this video with other cat owners. Together we can create a safer environment for our feline friends.